What is going on? My name is Mike from Plant Based Vision and today I'm going to show you guys how to make a simple, quick and easy vegan spaghetti. I'm going to use a couple of key ingredients, garlic, onion, tomatoes, pasta sauce, Beyond Meat burgers as the base, a bit of Miyoko's cheese on top. It's going to take you 35 minutes or less. It's a perfect vegan recipe. With all that being said, I'm at my local grocery store, Natural Grocers, to gather these ingredients. I'm going to start by gathering tomatoes, then yellow onion, garlic, I'm going to gather the Beyond Meat Burgers, which is in the frozen section. Miyoko's cheese, which is optional. Marinara sauce. And last but not least, I want to gather the spaghetti noodles. I purchased all the ingredients here as organic or the best I could find. If you can find these ingredients local or if you can find them at a local grocery store with a better price point, then by all means do so. The first thing I'm going to want to do here is to start to get the Beyond Meat Burgers cooking. I cook my Beyond Meat Burgers in the air fryer for 10 minutes at 340 degrees. This is going to leave the Beyond Meat Burger cooked but not well done. After that I want to start to cook my spaghetti noodles. I'm going to add water to a pan and wait till the water boils. Once the water boils, I'm going to add the spaghetti noodles into the boiling water and let them cook for around 7 to 9 minutes. Now I want to make sure you double check the spaghetti noodle cook time on the back of your package because they can vary and I want to make sure that you are cooking your spaghetti noodles for the exact right time. After the spaghetti noodles are boiled, I'm going to place them in a strainer and then I'm going to add ice cold water to them to shock the noodles to make sure they are not sticking. Quick toss and then I'm gonna strain them again, toss them in a bowl, and I'm gonna add in some olive oil to the noodles. The olive oil is gonna add a little bit of flavor and it's also gonna prevent sticking in the future to these noodles. After that, I'm gonna start prepping the produce. I'm gonna dice the onion. Now you can dice the onion with any utensils you have. If you have a hand chopper or a electric chopper, these work very well. After the onion, I'm going to peel the garlic and I'm going to do the same thing. Quick dice, making sure that I get them in small pieces. Now you can use any tomatoes for this recipe. I'm using vine ripe tomatoes. However, you can use Roma, cherry, and even heirloom tomatoes will work very well for this recipe. I encourage you to find tomatoes that intrigue you. If you are looking to experiment with other tomatoes, by all means, I totally suggest that. Cooking is a very unique thing. It's almost like a painting, and I suggest you to paint your own canvas and make your own food. After the tomatoes are diced, I'm gonna place them on the side, add avocado oil to a pan, turn the pan to medium heat, and I'm gonna add in my onion. I'm adding in about one cup of diced yellow onion, and I wanna saute these onions for about five minutes. After five minutes, I'm going to add in the garlic. I'm going to get my Beyond Meat burger from the air fryer and I'm going to add that into the pan. I'm going to break it up with a spatula and give it a quick stir. After that, I'm going to add in my tomatoes. I'm adding in about one cup of diced tomatoes. I'm gonna add in one cup of marinara sauce. After I add in the marinara sauce, I'm gonna give everything in the pan a quick stir and I'm gonna place a lid on the pan. I'm gonna let the pasta sauce simmer for about five minutes and when you're all done, it should look something like this. So now that the pasta sauce is all complete, I'm gonna gather a bowl of the spaghetti noodles, I'm gonna gather the pasta sauce, and I'm gonna put the pasta sauce on the noodles. After the pasta sauce is added, I'm gonna add in the Miyoko's cheese, which is optional. After the Miyoko's cheese is placed on top, you are all complete. Congratulations, you made a vegan, plant-based, beyond meat, hearty spaghetti. Now this is one of my favorite recipes and I can't wait for you to dig in and taste it. 
Alright guys, that's gonna be it for the video today. I hope this recipe wasn't too hard. This is definitely one of my go-to recipes when I'm short of time or I need to cook for a large gathering. Once you make this recipe for the first time, every time after that's a lot easier. Getting the hang of it, knowing what to use and the right ingredients. The Beyond Meat Burger really adds a lot of flavor to this. To be honest, if you're serving this dish to someone who does not eat meat, it's gonna be very similar to an actual spaghetti dish. Thank you so much for sticking around and watching. If you like this video, please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button because we are trying to grow a community here so every subscription counts. Thank you guys so much. I'll see you guys on the next video. This is Plant Based Vision. I'm going to go ahead and start eating the spaghetti because I'm hungry. So I'll see you guys next time.